One Wednesday night, the lady in charge of our block said, hey, you need to board a bus really fast in an hour or two. I was uh, around 14 years old, and my dad, as a minister, did not want to leave Cuba because he felt he didn't want to desert his congregations that he had. He was serving 23 churches at that time. Our family was a little smaller because my mom has died of cancer when I was nine and a half years old. My sister was in a boarding school, so that left me by myself at the house. There were different things that my dad has put as a test in order for us to leave Cuba. If God led him to think that he wanted him in a different place, he will leave Cuba, but if not, he will stay. And that include the whole family. Right when I was 14 and a half years old, the call came in from Puerto Rico for my dad to move out of Cuba and go to work in Puerto Rico. The only problem was that in Cuba, if you are a boy, you cannot leave Cuba in between the ages of 15 and 28 years old. I was six months away of being 15 years old, and there was no way that you can leave Cuba within six months. Normally, it took about two years since you had all your paperwork ready, and then after that period of time, you will get your exit out of Cuba. When you need to leave Cuba, you have to have a letter from the school where you're going, saying that you had good attendance and your grades were good. I was repeating the sixth grade at that point for three years in a row. The reason for that was their test was on Saturdays, and I will not go to take the test, so I did not past the sixth grade, and this was the third year I was doing that. There was no way, basically, that I could leave within six months. We prayed, and we prayed. Three months passed, four months, and one Wednesday night we were at church, and we were coming back from church, and the lady in charge of our block said, hey, your exit came today. I said, it's almost nine o'clock at night. How can I do this? She says, this is a special exit. We have everybody from this town that is gonna leave on that airplane, and you need to board a bus really fast in an hour or two. So I had to get ready, prepare within an hour or two, I didn't have much of anything. I basically brought whatever clothes I had on me. But we wash it and dry it really quickly, just trying to make sure that everything was clean. And then I left for Havana in the bus provided by the government. Because it was such of a quick exit, I did not need the letter from the school saying that, you know, how my grades were or how many absence I had. And it was a miracle that within three days, I was out of Cuba. Nobody ever knew anybody that has gone out of Cuba in such of a short time. I really couldn't believe it because it was such of a unusual way to live. The feeling was gratitude, awe because of how everything has happened. And then you're sad because you leave your friends, you leave your family behind. I was coming out by myself from Cuba, first time leaving the country all by myself. So I did not know the people where I was gonna go and meet and stay with or anything of that nature. It was a little bit daunting yet in my heart, I knew that God was directing what was happening here. My dad came out two years later. After that time, he got his exit with my sister and was a pastor in Puerto Rico until his retirement. My sister also is a minister. So the whole family came out 
and it was a miracle for us. My name is Geraldo Salcedo, and this is my story. I'm Pastor Tara Van Cross, and we're so glad that you've tuned into our Azure Hills Church YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every time we share new videos. We are so glad that you're here. Until next time, please know that we're praying for you as you continue to be a voice of hope.